What's up guys, welcome back to JK Fishing. Today, we're going out for some sharks down in Juneau Beach, Florida. Uh, it's been exactly one year since we posted the last video where we caught a nurse shark, scum of the earth. We were very disappointed that night. I'm heading back down to school here, so my dad dropped me off, which means we're gonna get another shark for you. So stay tuned, guys. All right, safety first, guys. Uh, we're heading out right now, and we're taking out the kayak into pitch black darkness. The beach we're fishing on right now requires amber lights, so we make sure we have that setting on our headlamps. We're tying up just because of the sea turtles in the summer. The white light will scare them, they'll think it's the moon, I don't know, it screws them up, so we gotta adhere to that policy. And when I'm taking this kayak out, we got some walkie-talkies as well. He's gonna signal me when to drop when I've gone out far enough. So he knows when to tighten down the line. And the rig we're using today, a simple breakaway rig. Nice, I would say nine feet of lead. The longer the lead, the more time the fish has to chew it before it feels tension from the weight and then cut the weight off. The shorter the lead, we find we lose more fish like that. I tied this one to the hook just because there's not really a spot I could tie it to the bait on in this specific fish. We got the head of a nice juicy bonita and we're gonna catch ourselves a shark. What's the gear you're running here, Joe? Uh, this is only a 9 aught Senator. Some say it's a little underkill, but I got around 900 yards of line, 100 pound mono top shot. That'll get him in no problem. If anything, we thumb the spool, so drag's not an issue. I got a massive roller guide tuna rod that's only a 5.6, so it'll definitely bring him in. No issues with that. Let's get on some fish. With a multiple hundred pounder on it. Well, I'm gonna have to get a feel for that soon. I'm sure I'll, I'll help you a bit. Oh, yeah. He knows he's hooked now. <laughs> so I knew he was on. So what happens, he ran, ran, ran for a good 30 seconds and he dropped it. I, or I thought he dropped it. Okay, because it went really slap the line. What I thought happened was he ate the bait and the hook fell on the ground, and that was that. But the line went super, super slack, meaning he was running in with it. I tightened up the line just a bit and noticed that it went slack really fast. Yeah. Meaning he was swimming in with it. It's gonna be a nice, fun fight when we do But yeah, first 30 seconds, hardest part of the fight with these sharks. We'll let him run for a bit. If he keeps running us out, we'll start thumbing it. Just because you want to get him in fast. You don't want to kill it. But. Yeah, he, he's a good 450, 500 yards out in so We got about half a spool of line left. We, we normally run wire. Now, wire, I find it's better than cable. Just because cable is a bunch of little strands kind of twisted together. These fish, their teeth just cut through that cable so easily. And I've seen guys get cut off 300 pound cable, gets broken, just cause the teeth cut through it. So we do have cable, I don't like that, but we should be okay. So guys, we just hit the mono, meaning we're about 250 yards out. My dad's putting some serious time off camera there. Yeah, you don't want me on camera. Nah, you're too good looking. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, we get, yeah. That I don't have a mullet. That's why I'm not allowed to be on camera. The 1.3% females that view our channel will go up, so, you yeah. know. He's, he's, so he ran uh, south down the beach, and what happened was, the second you gave me the rod, he turned this way, and I just see the line moving towards us, so it's really easy to gain on him right now. Because he's not swimming in or out, he's just swimming parallel to us. But... So what are the some of the things, Joe, we brought with us today to help with landing the shark? We got a rope with us. We got some cutters. We got some pliers. 
just in case this hook doesn't come out easy, we're gonna cut it. It's a non-stainless, non-offset hook, so it's gonna rust out. And the rope, we wanna rope the tail. These big sharks, you've never done it, but if you grab the tail of a shark that's heavy, do you know what's gonna happen? <laughs> it's gonna whack you. You're gonna get some of the worst rug burn from that tail that you've ever experienced as well you're trying to grab this tail that's moving of a 300 pound creature 400 pound creature however big it is you can't pull it up the beach it's gonna run but you can't pull him up the beach unless you got a rope kind of like yeah it, it's impossible so you, you got to come prepared or else you're gonna kill the fish or potentially injure yourself so all right guys update i'd say we've been fighting for what 25 minutes only she's coming in real well we're onto the 100 pound mono so i'm horsing her every time she wants to run i turn her head she's coming back in the only thing with these senators is the line pickup sucks it's like a three to one year Look at the line, he's really close. He's got the rope on it. There we go. Two men to do that. <laughs> you know, I want to get a video for you guys, but things like 300 pounds. Like, it's fucking heavy. Yeah. And I, the hook was so buried in it because it swam at us, it just inhaled the bait. I'm not sticking these little girly fingers near its mouth. So, so I run non-stainless. Hook will pop out. So. <sighs> Tired, eh? Yeah, it's hard to bro. I'm lucky that it had energy because normally you gotta swim out with them. Yeah. Well, he was energetic, man, for sure. That was good. Are we gonna bring it out again, or you want to just call it quits? I'm asking you that it's question. Like what time is it? It's ten after, so maybe we save for another day. Nice early night for us. Go to bed. Get some sleep. But yeah. Anyways, guys, stop for the video today. Do you have any questions about our rigs? Anything about like the care of these sharks? whether this is legal comment below because we have an answer for you so anyways we'll see you next time on jk fishing